Hello friend, welcome to my channel Geography Institute. I am Shagori Kanak. Today we are discussing about the vernier scale. Before two classes, we are discussing about linear scale and diagonal scale. And today we are discussing about the vernier scale. You know that vernier scale is a device formulated by BP Vernier by which even the functional part of the smallest divisions of the main scale can be measured with the highest PCS. It consists of a small auxiliary scale called the vernier which moves freely with its graduate edge along a long fixed scale called the main or primary scale. The vernier carries an index mark that forms the zero of the vernier division and is denoted by an arrow mark. The scale may be drawn as a straight line graph or as an arc. The device is based upon the fact that it is easier to see the extract coincident of two lines than to judge the distance between the two lines and it used in precious instrument like theodolite, sextant, barometer, planet meter, abney levels, etc. Let's start the mathematics okay look the maths draw a vernier scale to read 15.76 inch given the least count of the main scale is 0 0.1 inch and nine small main scale divisions are equal to 10 small vernier scale division okay so let's start the calculation the least cost of the main scale Okay, so let's start the calculation. The least cost of the main scale, it's denoted by D. Okay, D is equal to 0 0.1 inch and the number of vernier scale division denoted by small n equals to 10. Therefore, vernier constant Vc equals to D by n. This is a formula, okay. This is the main formula which is uh, help us to giving the perfect data which is called Vc, the Vernier constant. This is the main part of the Vernier scale. So, the calculation is 0 0.01 inch. Okay. Next, the reading to be shown equals to according to the math 15.76 inch is equal to we can read it as like 15.70 plus 0 0.06 inch, right? So, the main scale reading equals to 15.70 inch, okay? And the vernier scale reading equals to 0 0.06 inch okay the part is completed here now we are calculating the separating part which is denoted 6 how look hence the index mark would lie between reading 15.7 inch and 15.8 inch because our math is says 15.76 inch right on the main scale the number of vernier divisions coinciding with any one the main scale divisions equals to how we are calculating this this is a one of another formula where we are division between vernier scale reading divided by vernier constant Okay, vernier scale readings we are knowing about that 0 0.06 inch divided by 0 0.01 inch. Okay, the calculation of the mathematics is here completed, totally completed. Now we go to completing our 
drawing which is the main part of vernier scale actually vernier scale calculation is very easy just just division and then we have to get the number of the uh, vernier when we see and then we have to draw it okay so the drawing is the most important part so let's start the drawing according to our mathematics we have nine small main scale division are equal to 10 vernier scale division at first we have to draw it when we are drawing it we have to take 0 0.9 inch in scale and then we have to plot 90 degree angle from the left side of the corner of 0 0.9 it's take 1 inch 1 inch which is divided in 10 parts samely we have to plot last point of 0 0.9 inch it's similar like linear scale secondary division if you want you can use set square but i can prefer it because in examination hall you have to facing many of problems you can properly handle it so if you apply this process i think you have to better result okay so let's join it properly and after joining it we have to write down here that 9 small scale division equals to 10 small vernier scale division okay here we are completing the vernier scale divisions now we have to draw the main scale division before we drawing we have to remember that the main scale is 15.76 inch according to the math but we know 15 inch is a very big amount we can't draw it in a little page right so we have to break the scale you can break it anywhere middle part fast part wherever you want to do this but i prefer you in the middle part you can break it it looks very good and it's a proper direction also i think it okay so at first we take it 2 inch and then we have to take 2.5 inch you, you you can take it 3 or 4 inch also okay so the first part is starting from 0 the main scale first starting from 0 after breaking we are plotting from 15 if you want you can plotting from 6 14 also 15 16 and then 17 after plotting 8 inches we have to plot the vernier scale okay so uh, we want a little strip and then we have to take the 0 0.9 inch 10 division we take it from its in this strip and after completing the pointing we have to denote it the part of vernier coincidence okay the coinciding part is number six so we plotting it here after plotting we have to go the main scale and we have to find the 15.7 inch in our drawing scale after finding we have to put this uh, strip here and we have to merge with main scale with vernier scale in six here we can't after right sliding we found it here look this point is coinciding right coincidence so we are plotting from here after the point fixing identifying we have to point all the separate 10 parts and then we have to draw a vernier scale from here Examination hall you have to facing many of problems you can properly handle it so if you 
apply this process i think you have to better result okay so let's join it properly and after joining it we have to write down here that nine okay. small scale we draw division here. equals to 10 after small drawing the vernier scale, scale we okay. have to point out here we are completing the vernier scale divisions now we have to draw the main yes we are plotting here six point of coincidence and then and then we have to plotting the main scale value which is 15.76 inch look here perfectly match with the value 15.76 inch after that we pointing main scale vernier scale and we have to give a proper heading also and then our drawing is completed this is the process of drawing of vernier scale i hope all of you understand very well if you have any doubt you can contact with me and if you don't subscribe to my channel till now then now subscribe to my channel and please click on the bell icon for giving the first notification to your youtube so please like share and comment in my video see you soon in my next class where we are discussing about class 11 cartogram someone requested to me so we are starting this part so take care and bye for now. See you soon.